Hello guys, how are you today? I have very interesting topic to discuss. What do you expect when you're buying a motorcycle? Expectations and the reality. Stay with me. Almost every kid, adult, man or woman or middle-aged or even old people once in a while had a dream to buy a motorcycle or at least to try it. Even you, did you? The bikes always have been like a magnet for many people. A dream machine which will help you to feel free and I totally agree with that statement. The feeling you can get from it cannot be compared with anything else in the world. The expectations are so high and they usually are not the same as the reality. Why is like that? I will try to explain. As we already realized, the English language is not my powerful site. Because of that, I have to use many pictures, videos, uh, long explanations, some of my personal stories to help you to get the full picture. Here we go another one. When I was 15 years old, I already had some experience with motorcycles and it was time to have mine. The desired machine was 50cc E German brand Simpson. The price of that bike was something like uh, maybe five or six hundred dollars today. Of course, I was a kid, I did not have any money, so I spoke with my father and after he heard all of my arguments, he said, okay, I understand, these are nice bikes, if you really want it, go and buy one. That was great, but he didn't say anything about the money. Why? For him it was not a problem to, to pay this money. Five or six hundred dollars for a dude man at that time was okay. Not so cheap, but he, he can do it. I decided to wait. And I waited. One week, second week, nothing. So I have to find a way to earn that amount. I really wanted that bike. Our summer school vacation was something like three, three and a half months. So I spent the whole time working any possible job to save that money. So uh, at the end of the summer, I was already saved about two thirds of the money. The summer was gone and I did not have all of the money I needed and I was just crushed. It was so, so disappointing for me. All of my schoolmates, they were on the beach every day, relaxing and playing and I was working so hard and at the end, nothing. A big punch, poof, so, so disappointed. And then my father came and asked me, What's going on? You look like a shed. What, what happened? I explained him the situation about the money and I did not have enough money. I don't have any more time. I have to go to school and the bike will be sold and I don't have it and so on. And he said, okay, I will give you the rest of the money. Now I understand. You're really serious about it. You really want that bike and you give everything what is possible to save that money and to have this money. Now I know that it's not a moment wish or a moment desire or something you really love. And he gave me the rest of the money. What I'm basically trying to say with that story is that almost everybody will like the idea to buy the bike. But only 30% will do what they have to do to save the money or to work harder or whatever to buy a motorcycle. From those 30%, only 10% will stuck with the bike longer than a year or two and only 5% will keep it and ride it for many years. 5 people from 100, 5%. With that being said, let's discuss some expectations and the reality. Number 1. To get the driver license is easy. Long day or two and you are ready to go. Not really. Most of the young guys did not have this patience even for a day or two. There are so many destructive things today, like internet, coffees, alcohol, discotheque, clubs, girls and so on. To focus on something like that, it's not that easy. Even if they know how to write, they still need to go and do the theoretical test. It is not difficult, but you need to spend some time to learn how to do it. And this is the part where most of the young guys just failed or just give up. Number two. Once you get your motorcycle, all the girls will love you. Well, if you have a problem with your relations, the bike is not going to help you at all. Yes, some of them will want to jump on the rear seat to make some rolls around the city, but that's all. 
Is that what you're looking for? Number three, when you have a motorcycle, you can make many adventures. The definition of the word adventure is unusual and exciting experience. Did you hear something about motorcycle? The adventure is a very special moment and it could be reached with almost anything. Walking, cycling, motorcycle, riding, drifting, diving, hiking, walking, almost, almost any possible ways. Number four, when you have a motorcycle, you'll have so many friends. Well, it's the same as the girls. If you don't have it until now, don't expect any changes. Number five, you will look so cool and sexy when you wear your motorcycle gear. Really? Who told you that? Do you have any plans to go to the local coffee or a restaurant with all of your motorcycle gear on? No one will understand you or like you. Yes, they all will watch you because it is not usual somebody dressed like a Robocop to walk around. Also, try it when outside is 40 degrees and then we'll talk again. Number 6. With motorcycle you will travel faster. In the cities, yes. On the long distance, no. Your average speed is going to be about 20-30% less than if you're driving a car. And it doesn't matter how fast you're going to ride. You might disagree with me, but make some long trips, make some experiments, count your time, then we'll talk again. The weather, the roads, the kilometers, the fatigue will slow you down. Day after day you'll be more exhausted and the end, the result will be exactly what I said. 30% less. Number 7. Motorcycles are cheaper and required less maintenance. It depends from the brand and the model. With some bikes you'll be really surprised. Number 8. Motorcycles use less petrol and it's cheaper to commute every day. Again, it depends on the model. Do not forget, the cost of having a motorcycle is not only to pay for petrol. Some of the parts and accessories are far more expensive than the average cars. When the winter comes, you'll need a car anyway. Number 9. Your wife, your girlfriend, boyfriend, father, mother, your family will like this idea to have this dangerous hobby. Really? Ask first. I already know 90% of the answers, but you can try. And number 10. Yes, motorcycles are very fast, but you will ride your motorcycle slowly. Is that right? Why are you buying a fast bike then? There is no way to have a fast bike and ride it slow. Remember it, no way, it is adrenaline, you will love it, you will love to twist the throttle and fly into the air. So guys, if you are new here and you're thinking that the motorcycles are only good fun, yes, you're right. The bike is the best tool I ever had, but you have to sacrifice something. You will decide what. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for a new video every week. Ride safe. Ciao.